So in the last video, you learned that Node is a runtime environment for executing JavaScript code. But what is a runtime environment really? Well, before Node, we used JavaScript only to build applications that run inside of a browser. So every browser out there has what we call a JavaScript engine that takes our JavaScript code and converts it to code that a computer can understand. For example, Microsoft Edge uses Chakra, Firefox uses SpiderMonkey, and Chrome uses V8. And it's because of these varieties of engines that sometimes JavaScript code can behave differently in one browser or another. Now, a browser provides a runtime environment for JavaScript code. For example, you probably know that in browsers, we have the window or the document object. These objects allow us to work with the environment in which our code is running. Now, up to 2009, the only way to execute JavaScript code was inside of a browser. In 2009, Ryan Dahl, the creator of Node, came up with a brilliant idea. He thought it would be great to execute JavaScript outside of a browser. So he took Google's V8 engine, which is the fastest JavaScript engine out there, and embedded it inside a C++ program and called that program Node. So similar to a browser, Node is a runtime environment for JavaScript code. It contains a JavaScript engine that can execute our JavaScript code, but it also has certain objects that provide an environment for our JavaScript code. But these objects are different from the environment objects we have in browsers. For example, we don't have the document object. Instead, we have other objects that give us more interesting capabilities. For example, we can work with the file system, listen for requests on a given port, and so on. We can't do stuff like that inside of a browser, right? So, in essence, Node is a program that includes the V8 JavaScript engine plus some additional modules that give us capabilities not available inside browsers. We can work with the file system or the network and so on. Both Chrome and Node share the same JavaScript engine, but they provide different runtime environments for JavaScript. Now, I've seen people comparing Node to C-sharp or Ruby or some other programming languages, but these comparisons are fundamentally wrong because Node is not a programming language. It's like comparing a car with an apple. By the same token, Node should not be compared with frameworks such as ASP.NET or Rails or Django and so on. These are frameworks for building web applications. Node is not a framework. It's a runtime environment for executing JavaScript code. Next, we're going to look at how Node works. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also, at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.